Hello, my friends. Today we're continuing with our mini series on Luminar Neo. And today we'll talk about Sky AI. Now, Sky, Sky AI is a tool for replace, replacing the sky, and you'll find it right over here. Before I choose a sky, I like to analyze my image. From my image, I can tell that I have shadows going to the left. That means the sun should be somewhere here on the right. Let's choose a sky. For this image, I will choose this one. Now, looking at my sky, I have a problem. My sun is on the left side and I need it to be on the right side. So, I need to change that. To change that, oops, I'll go to the sky and this is where my edits are. Sky orientation, let's go through every slider. This is the horizon position. So, if your horizon, you can move the sky, like let's say, I want the clouds to be closer to the horizon. I can move them like this or higher. I can move them like that. Vertical position, it does just that. It just moves it up and down. And horizontal position, just kind of pivots it left and right. And this is our flip button that we can flip the sky. And now my sun matches with my scene. Mask refinement. We have global, closed gaps, and fixed details. The way I like to think of this is global fixes big problems, closed gaps, medium problems, and fixed details, tiny problems. So if I move global all the way to the right, it will blend better, it will feather the transition between the sky and the foreground. I can do a little bit of closed gaps, and that's a pretty good matchup in there. Scene relight, this is where you can take some of the tones from the sky and put them into the foreground. So if we move this to the right, just make everything blend a little bit better. I don't want to do too much. Relight saturation, this will affect the foreground and will increase the saturation a little bit. If you do have a human in the foreground, then you have relight human because a lot of the times when you replace the sky and you have a human, the colors from the sky will now reflect on the skin tones. And by moving this, you will apply that to the skin tones a little bit. If you have reflections, this is where you can uh, increase the amount of your reflections or decrease it. And you can also blur the water a little bit. Sky adjustments, this will affect just the sky. And you can defocus. If your sky is very, very sharp and your foreground is very sharp, that's very unnatural. Naturally, the sky would be a little bit defocused. So then you'll have to apply a little bit of defocus. Now, when you apply the focus, what happens? It applies a blur over the sky. And naturally, every image will have some grain into it. And by blurring the sky, it will not look right. It will look like you blurred it because you'll be very smooth. So then you will want to add a little bit of grain. You can add some atmospheric haze. If you has, have on your original photo haze on the horizon, then it's a good idea to add some atmospheric haze to make it blend better. You can make the sky warmer or cooler as needed per your image. And you can also brighten it or darken it to make it blend better. And those are the sky tools. Let's see our image. This is the before and after. Before and after. Now for me, this image, if I will edit it, I would probably do a little bit of... Uh, Maybe mood, choose a lot, and let's see, Long Beach, there you go. And I'll have before and after. Let's take a different example. Next example, we'll do this one. This picture, by analyzing it, I can see it was taken some time and twilight time. So I can get away with putting a nice pink sky. So I did that. And now the horizon looks good. I don't need to change. I don't need to flip the sky. Mask refinement. I don't really need to do that. It kind of did a really good job. But I will add a little bit of relight. Maybe a little bit increase the saturation. The reflection, I'll add a little bit more. And I'll blur the water a little bit. For the sky adjustments, I don't need to defocus. Maybe add a little bit of haze. I don't really need it for this. 
I can even brighten maybe the sky a little bit. And let's see, this is our before and after. It completely transformed our uh, image. Now for this one, I think I would like to add a little bit of enhance. I think that will help the image. So there you go. Now we have the before and after. Before and after. If I look at the before, you can see the sun was more on the right side. That's the brighter sun side. So let's switch that. We'll go back to our sky. And we'll go to the orientation and we'll flip it. There you go. Now it matches a lot, a lot better. So if you look before, you see the sky, the sun was somewhere on the right side and then after. Let's choose a different image. Do this one. For this one, it's a nice overcast cloudy day. So we, it would not make sense for us to use a very bright sunset sky. So you want to choose something that it is overcast, maybe something more dramatic. Let's see. That one kind of works. I don't particularly like it so much though. Um, I don't like that one either. Now, maybe, let's see. Before and after, before and after. I kind of like it. Let's see, do we have a better choice? Maybe not. Let's go with this one. That's before and after. So it's similar, but it's more dramatic. For this one, we don't need to flip it because the sun is not visible in there. The blending is pretty good between the sky and the foreground. We can relight a little bit. And we don't have reflection. We don't need to blur the sky. I mean, that looks pretty good. Let's see. That is before and after. Before and after. Let's take a different example. We'll do this nice horse image. And this is going to be a really quick one as well because it's a really easy um, horizon. So it should be finding it really easily and make a good job from the one click. Yeah, I don't like that one. Uh, that one is kind of all right. I want something maybe more blue. Let's see. That one looks better. Now, you see over here, if I go to 100%, you see how it doesn't blend so well? We have this white line. Let's see with the global, if we can blend those in. And look, by moving the global to the right, that thing just blended in. So that was before and then after. All right, let's take a different example. We'll do this one. For this one, we'll go to edit, we'll go to sky. And we'll choose something that has a sun. Let's see, will this one work? It's kind of nice. Let's see what else. Maybe this one. Let's use this one. And of course, we have to flip it because we have all these nice highlights coming from the left. So we need that light to be on the left. And we have a lot of haze here on the horizon. So we want to go to the sky adjustment, add some haze. And that will just make it blend a little bit better. Let's see, this is our before and after. Before and after. We can increase the relight a little bit. And of course, we can always go to the enhance, add a little bit of accent to make everything just stand up a little bit. That's our before and after. And that is Sky AI and Luminar Neo.
Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing and I will see you next time.